Welcome to TradeTheNBI.com. This is John. This report is for the 4th of June, and what a perfect time for it to be a Monday, just as funds get uh, their money coming in. Uh, we can see that we've had a decrease of the highs along with flat lows, which usually call for price moving back up towards the Morganacci peak right there. Uh, and that's what we've done. We've slight, well, potential breakout of the range right here. Uh, previous peaks. We can look at that right here. 37.75, we're at 38 in the pre-market, so that's already pushing that envelope, so breakout buyers are gonna wanna jump in there. Um, we actually have the orange dipping below green, but not yet below red, so partial, but they happen a little bit later on the daily. We can see it from an intraday standpoint a little bit clearer. And uh, we've had the gold rising now we have azure rising that happened a few days ago and so that's led to the turnaround and the shakeout it's still slightly negative from an es standpoint the uh, nasdaq has been much stronger um and you can see we're actually about to have a uh, side cross below red we've already had the cross and the orange dipping below so that signaled back over here and uh led to friday's move and then we still have well, it's starting today. Of course, everyone wants to buy the euro, sell the dollar, but uh, this chart is warning you about doing that. We did almost have um, yellow coming in like we did back over here, but it did not quite happen. So this is a little bit stronger setup. Uh, still needs a close above the 23%. Uh, we're still looking for uh, overall move to come back into range because while the general uh, trauma of the whole Italian situation, now that a government's formed, things could actually get worse at least from a euro standpoint simply because it reflects uh, the growing skepticism in the european community uh, about cohesiveness uh, both with monetary policy trade everything else so it's going to be an interesting effect um, this ridiculous move in uh, treasuries uh, coming back slightly not a whole lot to retrace just right back to um, 119 range uh, however um, this is still way beyond given what we're seeing now from uh, uh, the Atlanta Fed, the reports of, you know, well over 4% growth in that and um, this oil pullback, which not surprising, we were just expecting the fill of positive extremes. We're right back at that uh, exact same point. Uh, we have the dip below the red line right here at this uh, 1247 on USO. So oil should fade back a little bit uh the fact that it's if it comes back down into that level that should help mitigate uh inflationary pressures at least going into uh, the latter part of the year uh, this was built in for the summer period so you're already going to pay more for the summertime regardless of what happens there and um interestingly enough gold still uh, struggling despite the fact that that uh, roaring growth numbers the question really again comes down to uh labor rates and whether or not oil can sustain if oil isn't kept high um then the reality is uh, as long as uh, you have low unemployment that isn't really generating massive increases in wages not a huge inflationary pressure uh, which means that we shouldn't see too dramatic a move from the Fed just yet, but they've been sort of uh, ahead of the curve, which is uh, kind of unfortunate because that will put a damper on things if they can uh, back off a little bit. Then I think that uh, things will really get going to where uh, then you really have a juggernaut uh, taking place, and that would definitely propel, I think, the ES and everything else into new highs, despite uh, people's concerns of valuations of because profits are fantastic, especially with the lower tax rates. So here's why the day started. Uh, we began um, with gold at the end of the day, uh, and it was below the 50, came back, and touched the lows, just as it's supposed to, and then once we broke above the 50, we ended up with the cyan under red and um, pretty much had steel down below throughout most of the day we ended up with a little peak move right there um that triggered a uh, little setup here that i like where the uh steel dips all the way down below and you have uh, green right there with the orange and usually uh if you have that with positive extremes you get a nice reset right there and that's what those little blue dots right there represent uh and pretty much you're just expecting the uh second bar of that breakout to do it this one actually filled the whole thing 
all the way back. And then that started another decent run that took us right back there. And then we just retraced right back to the 50%. Nothing new uh, within that range. And then uh, once we get to the 50%, Right there in the extreme, we dipped to the green right at 50, and then once above, we just propelled right back to the highs. And that's what we're in a continuation of. Of course, it's all overbought right here with new gold. We can expand that chart now. So as long as it stays above the 76%, it uh, looks pretty solid. The ABMs are catching up to it in that. Uh, you still have sign under red. So if that continues, then we could get that uh, fund money bump from institutional buyers who now have it flush with cash again to start out the month. So we'll follow that as it goes. And uh, as I have uh, more updates, which uh, should be starting to come pretty good. Um, as the days come here because I'm getting much further along on some of these uh, adjustments and I'll be able to get them sent out to you, which should be pretty exciting stuff. As always though, uh, trade well and I will keep putting up uh, charts on the Skype chat. Have a good one.